Hello Accounting 101 students. In this video, we will go over the Chapter 1 Required Online Participation, Questions 1 and 2. You can access our Required Online Participation activities by logging into our Canvas website, going to the Modules area, and finding the link within each week's module. For each chapter, we have six questions assigned for our required online participation activities. Once you click on the link, you can go ahead and open the assignment as soon as the page is done loading. And you'll notice that sometimes this will take a few moments, as you can see from my screen. So you will click on Open Assignment, and when you open the assignment, you will click on Start Assignment. You can go back and forth to view all of the questions by using the arrows at the top. And the first question relates to the different forms of business organizations that are described in Chapter 1. In Chapter 1, you should focus on learning about the advantages and disadvantages of sole proprietorships, partnerships, and corporations. From the drop-down menu, you will want to choose the appropriate answer that matches up with the description. Shared control, tax advantages, increased skills and resources are associated with the partnership form of a business organization. The form of a business organization that is simple to set up and maintains control with the owner is a sole proprietorship. And the business form that is easier to transfer ownership and raise funds and that has no personal liability is a corporation. When you're done answering each aspect of the question, you can either save your work for later or you can submit answer. If you would like additional attempts, please send me an email. I am more than happy to set up the assignment to allow you unlimited attempts for each question. So I'll go ahead and save my answer for later. For question two, you can see that this question is asking about the statement of cash flows and the different categories of business activities. We learn about operating activities, investing activities, and financing activities in Chapter 1. Operating activities relate to the normal day-to-day -day operations of a company, such as making sales to customers, paying for rent, paying utilities, paying vendors and suppliers, paying salaries and wages expenses, and so forth. Whereas investing activities relate to long-term aspects of the company, such as purchasing property, plant, and equipment that will be used in the long term, or if the company has excess cash, they may invest in other companies. Financing activities relate to the sources and the repayments of cash during a period. So for example, we have debt financing activities, such as obtaining a loan from a bank, and over time we will have to pay back that loan to the bank. For equity financing activities, we have the issuance of common stock, which means that the investor is giving money to the business in exchange for common stock. And also, from time to time, companies may choose to pay dividends to their stockholders. So to go through these examples, cash received from customers is an operating activity. Cash paid to stockholders in the form of dividends is considered a financing activity. Cash received from issuing new common stock is also considered a financing activity. Cash paid to suppliers is considered a operating activity. Cash paid to purchase a new office building is an investing activity. And I highly recommend reading through the textbook in detail and writing as many examples as you can from our textbook 
for examples of business activities categorized as operating, investing, and financing activities. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.